morning, YouTubes. Welcome back to another daily quarantine edition of vlog. I uh, hope you guys are hanging in there. Uh, speaking of daily vlogs, me, myself, uh, Dave the Weird Kid at the Weird Kid Show channel, we're trying to do daily vlogs. Vic Springston, we're all trying to throw up extra content for Dave to keep you guys busy, keep you going from stir crazy, uh, give you something to watch and do. Uh, so you guys should go check their channels out. Dave's getting ready to build a full-size plague doctor. I just know he's going to murder this thing. It's going to be a full-size plague doctor. Vic's got a bunch of projects going on, a bunch of builds in his channel. Uh, he does some big monster builds, castle towers, casket uh, beers. I mean, good stuff. So you guys got plenty to watch. We're just trying to keep you busy during the day and take your minds off this BS that's going on. And speaking of today, what are we doing today? Well, we're working on the war belt, the apocalypse war belt. I kind of hooked the chains up yesterday, got everything kind of set in place. I ran the soldering iron over everything, uh, got it ready to go for today, so everything's basically hooked up. I got all the little rings pinched shut. You can see I added a couple of rings. I just popped my hole in there from my uh, oh, the little tool kit I bought from uh, Hobby Lobby. So today I want to finish this big guy up for now. So you guys remember my molding videos? I had that uh, silicone mold. And I made a couple of rigid foam skulls, so I had two guys left over, you know, that one. I had this guy who was kind of small, that guy was kind of big, this guy's kind of narrow. So this morning I came in early, I molded up this guy. He's got a really nice thick profile on him. I think he's going to look great here on the belt, so we're going to buy some spikes. So I want to get going on this guy this morning, get him, on the, get him ready to be mounted to go on the skull. So let's get to work. we got to fix this guy up, get him ready to go on the belt. All right, so first things first, I got my rigid foam skull I cast this morning. I got it shaved down so it's nice and flat in the back, so it should stick off the belt really nice. I went ahead and got a bunch of one-inch dowels, and I just eyeball them and cut them down to about an inch or so. My plan is to go ahead and take my drill. I'm going to pop some holes in the top of his head, and then I'm going to glue these little pegs in there to almost look like some kind of crazy mohawk or hair. I don't know, I just think it looked kind of cool and kind of Mad Max-like. So with this rigid foam, it don't take much. Boom. I'll go ahead, I'll get the, the glue gun fired up. We'll glue it in there. And I'm going to give this guy a head full of freaking spikes. So I'm going to drill all these holes, glue the spikes in place, and I'll show you what he looks like before we throw some paint on him. All right. What do you guys think of that? I mean, how simple is that? It's just quarter-inch dowels, a quarter-inch hole. I got them all hot glued into place. I think that's super cool. This uh, whole uh, APOC thing I saw on, uh, oh, when uh, Transworld was canceled and Alan Hobbs did the Haunter Shopping Network and he had a ton of APOC masks, I just lost my shit and knew I had to build something APOC. I really wanted to put horns on this guy because I love putting horns on everything, but we had to go APOC and kind of stay true to the theme. So the other thing is I want to put some holes through the skull because we're going to add some LEDs. I'm going to put two green LEDs in each eye. I was at the Michaels or Joann's, whatever the hell it is, and I bought a big bag of those gears. So I'm going to use these as eyeballs. I'm going to stack up a couple of gears or something, and then I'm going to put the LED in the middle. And then we're going to go ahead and we're going to resin it in place. But first, I think we got to put some holes in, and then we're going to paint this guy and get that done first. And then... Uh, I'll go ahead and get the, the gears stacked up, get, get those how I like them, and we'll put the uh, LEDs in, then we'll resin fill the eye sockets, and I think I'm going to do a resin fill over the whole skull to kind of lock it down, and then we'll mount it up on the belt, and we'll get the skull, the skull part done first at least. All right, I want to get this thing ready for paint, so I'm kind of beating it up a little bit, roughing it up. I tried to stick it in my tumbler, but it was a little bit too big, so... Just got to do it the old school way, and I'm fine by that. Put a little couple of hacks in them. I want to light up, not a lot, a lot of nice pits in them. I think I'm going to do the skull in copper, and I'll do a darker bronze over it. And I want to wipe it off so that all the uh, the paint gets down little deep crevices here. This is really beat his ass. This one looked gnarly like he's been beat to shit over the whole apocalypse. All right. This guy. Got to be careful not to knock the teeth out. I went ahead and filed all the teeth back. I put some teeth holes in there. So this guy should be pretty well good to go. So I'm going to beat his ass, and then we're going to throw some foam primer on him. All right, we're back. I got them all beat up. I'm pretty happy with them. Smacked them around a little bit, threw them on the floor, put a bunch of cuts and stuff on them, beat them up with that railroad spike. 
I've got some uh, Rust-Oleum foam primer. This stuff worked out pretty good on my uh, fake tree stump uh, floodlight cover. You guys can check that out if you want to see that video. It's in my other video somewhere. So we're going to hit this guy with this. I've never painted rigid foam before, so I don't know how this is going to react. Supposedly, it doesn't eat into it. If it does eat into it, I'm pretty cool with that too. There we go. Looks pretty gnarly. And supposedly this protects uh, like great stuff foam, and it actually does a pretty good job. When I did my tree stump, I was pretty shocked this stuff even worked. So just want to get a light coat of that on there. All right, we're gonna leave him. We're gonna come back. We'll throw some copper on him. All right, he's dry. I put a little cup down so I can get him up in the air so you guys can see better. I put the heat gun on him because you know I freaking hate waiting. Let's throw some copper on him. That already looks a million times better. I want to get this pretty thoroughly covered. Maybe I'll do a little bit on the back, don't matter. But I'm going to put a couple of coats on him, get him fully copper. I'm going to heat gun that son bitch, and I'm going to come back when he's fully coppered. All right, so i got to say, I'm pretty impressed with this copper. Looks pretty good. The... Uh, Six pound bitty foam, the rigid foam actually takes spray paint really, really well. So that's cool. I don't hear no little crackling noises. So I got a couple of coats of copper on it. I heat gunned it. I got some nasty, disgusting, stank ass rags that I had that lay on the floor and old tack rags. And this is my favorite part. I'm gonna blast some darker aged bronze, which is sort of like this color, more of like a burnished, tarnished color, right over the skull. I'm gonna grab a rag, I'm gonna wipe it right off. I wanna get down in all the little cracks and crevices. Just blast this sucker, yeah, in your face. And you grab a rag, lighten it up, lighten it up. Look how easy that is. You don't have to get in between everywhere, but just enough to kind of darken it up. And if you wanted to put washes on yours, or man, there's a million ways you could go. Get down in between there some. Get my nasty old rag so I get some lint sticking to it, some filth and stank off of this rag. Just rub it right on that skull. Because the apocalypse ain't pretty, people. Come on, get in there. There you go. Woo, all right. That's already looking 10 times better. Ooh, there's a big puddle right there. Let me take some of that off. All right. I'm going to throw a heat gun on this. I'm going to do another coat, and then we'll uh, start getting the eyes ready to go on this thing. Alrighty, so he looks great. <clears throat> He's pretty dry. That's two colors, just copper and the dark bronze, uh, Rust-Oleum products. I'm really happy with that. Now I want to get these eyes going. My plan was to use a bunch of these gears for eyeballs and kind of stack them up on each other. And then put an LED in the center, pull the LED through, and then mount these guys down up in the eye sockets. You know, something like that, and stack them up, however. So that's my plan. I'm going to go ahead and pick through some gears, drill some of these out, get some eyeballs made up. And I'm going to get them stabbed down in there. I'm going to pull the wires through the back of the skull. I'm going to E6000 the wires into place so nothing goes through the back of the skull and falls out. So I'm going to go ahead and make some eyeballs, and I'll come back and show you guys what I came up with. All right, so this is what I come up with. I got the LEDs in. You guys can see the wires poking through the back. I got them sitting in there. I think I decided I'm going to go ahead and resin cast these guys in with some clear. You guys see my uh, casting video? I got the old uh, Smoothcast 325, which is transparent. I'm going to try and fill those eye sockets to lock all that stuff into place. And then maybe it'll disperse the light in the eyes. I don't know. I guess we're going to find out because that's what I'm going to do next. I got 50-50 parts A and B mixed. I'm going to dump it in. And hopefully it cures and doesn't eat through the skull. We're about to find out. All right, that's what I come up with. I got my gears in place. I got my LEDs wired in. I stabbed a couple of gears in his forehead. Thought that was kind of cool since I had the extra gears. We're going to let him sit there. I got a catch cup in case this is an epic fail and falls through. I got part A, part B. I got some burn off dump molds just in case uh, I got too much. And it looks like I probably do. I have no idea how much resin it's going to take to fill these eye sockets. I went ahead and put a little uh, green glow powder in there too. So maybe the uh, little LEDs will pick that up. 
mix the hell out of this thing. Let's dump it in and see what happens. Worst comes to worst, we have an epic fail and it eats the eye sockets out. Couldn't tell you. All right. More of this one. I don't know if it's soaking into the styrofoam or what it's doing. Still up a moon just in case. It's gonna be on a flat surface. I'm gonna wash that cure, we'll see what happens. All right, so we got our gears in place. I got them all stacked up, resin filled. Check the lighting, everything looks cool. What I think I'm gonna do is just, I'm gonna epoxy brush the whole damn skull. I got part A and B. This way it'll hardscape the whole skull. I don't have to worry about anything down the road. Um, and it'll make it strong for a lot of years of use out of this thing. So I'm gonna mix up again, equal parts A and B. I got about two minutes to brush this damn skull before this crap hardens on me. Mix it up real good. All right. I'm going to stab two skewers in the back so I can hold this thing. Just like so. Yep. Oh, that's almost an epic fail. Good enough. All right. That's mixed up. Let's brush this bad boy. I'm just going to try and get it everywhere. Lock in the little peg heads, lock in the teeth. Ooh, this stuff's going everywhere. All right, I'm gonna brush this guy out real fast and then I'll show you what he looks like when he's cured up. All right, we got plastic everywhere. I'm just gonna dump it on him. Let it run down. Try and brush it out where it's gonna go. Let it flow. Use that as a pumpkin stem later. Oh, I got an idea. Watch that. Ooh, let's get some paprika on it. Woo! Oh, that's freaking cool. Look at that. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's crusty and Mad Max right there. Oh, that's badass. All right. Can't do too much. All right. I'm going to let this cure, and we're going to come back. We're going to mount this on the belt. All right. So we're back at the table. The skull's done. He's a little tacky. I think he turned out pretty cool. It'll be nice and hard once he cures up. I'm going to lay them on the belt, mark some holes. I'll trace around them. So I'm going to make some holes for those wires to come through. And then I'm going to go ahead and put some spikes around them. These are those same spikes I molded in the last uh, molding video, the gangster gold color. I already got holes drilled in them. I'm going to arrange these guys around them where I want them. I'm going to mark some holes. I'm going to drill them through the backside. I'm going to put a screw right to the backside. So I'll go ahead and put a little E6000 here. Little E6000 on the back of the skull. And when I come back, this belt will be assembled. And then we'll take a look at it. And I'll do some wiring while I'm gone and finish it up. So I'll be back in a minute. All right, so I got all the screws and spikes in. I got a bunch of uh, screws and stuff. Everything is trimmed back. I got the wire roughed in, ready to go. I am going to use a nine volt pack, so this is temporary. I want to put a switch on it so you can just reach behind here and whoop, flip the switch on and the eyes will come on. So we're going to do one last step and ugly this thing up a little bit, throw some writ dye in it, and uh, we'll do the final details. All righty, spikes are on. I got everything E6000, the skull's E6000, screws behind it. That thing ain't going anywhere. I got everything cleaned up. Everything's basically ready to go. I like to use brown writ dye. There's probably uh, you know, a couple of teaspoons in a whole bottle. And I just want to ugly this whole thing up and make it grungy. You can hit everything, chains, belts, everything. Do the underside if you want, go crazy, don't matter. And we can take it, kind of just rub it in. It'll have that gnarly brownish feeling, just like filth and dirt. You can put as much on or as little as you want. 
What I like to do is when you see a hole, put a little brown spot in it. You see a hole, put a little brown spot in it. A hole, brown spot, brown spot, brown spot, brown spot, brown spot. Makes it like something laid on there and burn through it. We can do the whole skull, the whole belt, spikes, everything. Hose it all down. It ain't gonna hurt anything. We got our belts, we hit our plastic chains. Now that looks like the apocalypse. All right, I'm gonna let all that stuff bite in. I'm gonna get the heat gun on this, give us some time to dry. Then I'm gonna turn the lights on and put the sucker on and show you guys the final product. I'll be back in a second. All right, I hope you guys are ready for this. Here comes the apocalypse. War skirt. What do y'all think? Green glowing eyes. We're ready to go. Nobody can take us. Chains, rip die, skulls lit up still, I hope. Yep, it's lit up. I'm gonna like to say I'm gonna change this to a nine volt battery, and this thing will be good to go and done. I could add more to it if I wanted to, but uh hope you guys like it. This is my uh apocalypse war or war belt, and I'm gonna do some more for this costume later on, so keep your eyes out for it. And I will see you guys soon. Thanks for watching. Stay safe. Uh, we will get through this. Thanks so much.